so uh, in job basically we have heard uh, that uh, there is paper based increment right so uh, my first question to you is what is this paper based increment and how is it uh, different from the normal annual increment in all the other uh, courses so uh, in in most of the actual companies that are out here they do have some kind of study policy because mostly everybody is taking the exams and uh, uh, there could be a lot of benefits firstly they might uh, reimburse your membership fees uh, they will uh, most likely provide you increments based on the paper they will also support you in the form of study leaves and talking about the increments uh, they usually have like a fixed increment for each paper and the increment adds on to your CTC so it's not like a one time bonus uh, so th this I'm just talking about a general study policy um, so don't hold me to it but um, yeah and, uh, and the uh, increments that adds on with each paper so uh, depending on the difficulty of the paper the increment level also increases so it's higher for the CT and SP level exams uh, and it's on the lower side for the initial few exams but uh, yeah, uh, and it's different from the annual appraisals because so those happen based on the annual cycle and based on your performance and the company budget but this is fixed so as whenever you clear your exam you will get this increment there's no other variability about this increment so uh, I think because of these increments somebody who has joined actual science as a fresher their salary accelerates on a much higher scale as compared to any other um, job, uh, job student out there. Okay. So basically the students they are normally confused between two things, right? So it's basically a lock kind of a situation that I personally feel. Uh, let's say suppose a student who has cleared eight actual exams, okay? And uh, they go to a job. So what do you feel a student who has cleared eight actual exams and they have uh, started their job and a student who has just cleared two to three actual exams and they start working and then they need to uh, give all those tougher examinations of CS2, CM2. So what do you feel should be the ideal situation for a student so that they don't miss out on the increments as well as uh, taking it too long to complete the course? Okay. So, um... Uh, you can definitely like uh, start with the initial 5-6 exams I would say before you get on to your work so during college try to complete the first 5-6 exams uh, also because those are the little more technical exams so you don't need to uh, give it that much time and focus and those exams they are more on the theoretical side and less problem solving and work related so you won't lose out on it because, because you don't have experience uh, and as I said previously the increments for the initial few papers is also a little lower so you won't lose out a lot on the increments as well and by that time you have a very much good grip on the actual science course you know uh, you have figured out your study strategy and what works well for you so by the time you actually get a job you have all of that sorted out so then you can quickly adv advance to the higher level of papers you will get good increments with the higher level of papers and those will only get accumulated later on with your annual appraisals and everything so I think that would be a good Okay.